Uh, so many of you might remember me covering this little guy a few months ago, the Techno Phantom V Fold, a cut price alternative to the likes of the just launched Galaxy Z Fold 5. A lot of people got hella excited because finally they felt a brand had brought foldables to the masses, making it remotely affordable compared to the competition anyway. This meant regardless of actual sales, because I don't have that info, the Phantom V Fold was a big win for Techno because this media attention has massively increased their visibility on the world stage. But Techno haven't just stopped there in 2023 because their push for global domination now brings to the table this guy, the Pova 5 Pro, which Techno believe could be one of the best budget phones to date. And coming in at around $200, it's hard to argue knowing what it's packing. For that price, it obviously comes with some trade-offs, but before we get to all of the pros and cons, let's see what you get in the box. Now, can I just say how refreshing it is to see a company actually spend a bit of effort on the actual box design for a change? And this actually means you can stack two together, which means I've, of course, got to. It means I can give one of these away, doesn't it? to you. Subscribe here and follow my other social medias so you don't miss when I post that info. Now Techno are pushing this phone at tech and gaming enthusiasts for its hardcore performance capabilities, but for those who don't want to part with a thousand plus pounds, it ticks a lot of the major boxes without being bleeding edge in all areas. And the build quality certainly is a clear example of that. It certainly doesn't feel like a 1000 plus pound phone, but with its sharp, clean edge frame and reassuringly weighty feel in the hand, it far exceeds its price tag. But something that is bleeding edge and something that I wanna draw your attention to is this Turbo Light Mecha design, which is a nine color RGB LED light system on the back panel, which not only looks seriously flashy, pun intended, but it also serves a purpose. Combined with the angular aggressive lines and contrasting textures, the Pova 5 Pro looks like a serious machine and the lights are customizable in appearance and can be used for notifications, incoming calls, gaming, and more. And the phone will actually automatically mute when placing the phone backside up. Hang on, this is a family channel, settle down. I think this kind of rear panel features idea seems to be a way uh, manufacturers are starting to experiment with again in order to differentiate themselves from the rest of the pack. But it's really nice to see Techno doing it even at this budget level. When listening to music, the lights can breathe and flash in time with the music, change color with charging progress. And when you're playing PUBG games, they will flash red for kills and white for ADS, etc. It also activates when you enter the special preloaded Game Space app, which has, amongst other things, a special game mode which you can toggle, and Techno's Panther Engine 3.0, which uses AI to improve things like temperature controls and help stabilize gaming frame rate and help reduce power consumption. And there's also a really cool bypass charge feature which kicks in when the Pova 5 Pro is plugged into power. This allows the phone to channel that power straight to the motherboard while the battery remains in sleep mode to prevent overheating and reduce battery degradation. And speaking of battery, that 5000 mAh capacity is certainly substantial and should last you all day, no problems without the need to charge. Of course, if you do need a top up of juice, you have that included 68 watt fast charger in the retail box, 50% power in just 15 minutes, which is incredible. And cable, a pair of earphones. Seems like Techno are trying to bring back some of the features that seem to have been lost on the rest of the market. Reviving two dying trends, because of course we do have a headphone jack. Wired audio is of course still a major preference for certain people, including a lot of gamers that like that zero latency aspect of audio, but is the 5 Pro powerful enough? game. Well inside it's rocking the 6 nanometer MediaTek Dimensity 680 which is the same as the Infinix Note 30 and another 6 nanometer chipped phone is the Nothing Phone 1 which is a year old 
but was almost double the price at launch. Multi-core scores might not be quite as high as the phone one in benchmarks, but the single core score was actually more. The RAM can also be essentially doubled from 8 to 16 gigabytes with a toggle in the settings, allowing you to have up to 25 apps open and running in the background at any one time. And the 256 gigabytes of storage should give you all the storage you need, especially with today's available cloud options. So of course, it's not the flagship Android Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It's not going to be as powerful as a 1,000 plus pound phone. One of the trade-offs you're going to have for the price. But let me remind you of that price, circa $200. And you can still game on here and game well with a 240 hertz touch sampling rate. So it's really nice and responsive. You also have a 120 hertz refresh rate. So really nice and screw smooth when, scro smooth when scrolling was what I was going for. Screwth. Yeah, and the display is pretty nice and bright too. At 6.78 inches, it really feels like a media consumption style of phone. And that larger size also allows for a 12,979 millimeter ultra large heat dissipation area. Now the bottom bezel is also slightly larger than a flagship phone and therefore asymmetrical with the rest. And it's an LCD panel and not AMOLED. This means you don't get quite the same high contrast ratios in those deep, dark, inky blacks. And there's a slight color discrepancy around the 16 megapixel selfie camera, for example. So it's definitely a case of priorities here. And I'm not surprised by any of said trade-offs. Something that did surprise me, however, for a budget phone was the haptics. While they aren't the Samsung S23 Ultra, for example, the Z-axis linear motor does help the phone's vibrations improve the all-round experience, as does the stereo speakers. The sound is a little muddy in places, but it's DTS and high-res audio certified, it's certainly loud enough, and the dual speakers are rare in a £200 phone. We also have the current latest Android 13 software with Techno's high OS 13 over the top. Software is, of course, a very subjective area. We are due to have Android 14 arriving in the next couple of months or so. I don't know what the update system is going to be here, but you also have to consider how much like stock Android you want or how much of a skin you want on your phone, because again, all phones are different and there's no real right or wrong way to do it unless you bake it full of ads, I suppose, which I can't really see any. So yeah, it's a good start. Personally, I'm more of a stock Android fan, or at least a very light skin over the top, but there are some really handy features like the battery lab and special functions section. The software also runs into the camera as well. And when you open the app, you are greeted with the AI cam text, which automatically analyzes the scene and suggests optimum settings for things like flowers and portrait mode for people. It certainly isn't the most complete camera system I've tested, with only the two sensors, one of them being a depth one. And it would have been nice to have seen an ultra wide angle lens or 2x telephoto, for example, but they would bump that price up, I would imagine, quite significantly. Again, priorities. That said, in the right conditions with the 50 megapixel main sensor, you can take some nice shots. And it also offers 2K res video as well, which was a really nice surprise. And there's also a few creative modes like dual video where you can vlog, for example, using the front and rear camera at the same time. So compromises, sure, it's a 200 pound dollar phone. But I think once you get your head into that price bracket, it offers a heck of a lot and it's another really impressive entry from Techno in 2023. I will leave all the information in the video description below. That was quick. Slow down. All the information will be left in the video description below. Go through and check it out if you want more info. Follow my other social medias for short form content on this, all ASBYT official. My name's Adam. You've been the best as always. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. It's ASBYT. Peace out.